An Indian student is taking legal action against the city's subway store, claiming he was forced to work for nothing. His lawyer says exploitation of international students is widespread. Accounting student Pratik Sani started work as a kitchen hand at a Melbourne subway store in February. After 40 hours of work, he claims he still hasn't seen a cent, despite repeated requests to be paid. The Indian-born resident says the manager told him he'd get his $900 paycheck when he started permanently on the roster. But that never happened. I cry very much at my home and what's going to happen to me? The 23-year-old says he's also never been paid for the work he did at a separate property for the manager. The case is now headed to court with a claim for up to $300,000. If you exploit international students and you get caught, you will pay the penalty. The manager of the Subway store failed to respond to requests for a comment, although he's reportedly denied the allegations. Subway has begun an investigation, saying it expects all its franchisees to treat employees fairly. Although not prepared to comment about this specific case, a spokesman for the Fair Work Ombudsman says international students are especially vulnerable because many of them are unaware of their rights at work. In a similar case, a security firm was fined more than $100,000 earlier this month for underpaying a guard working at the Australian Open. It is damaging our reputation overseas. As Pratik Sani waits for a hearing date, he's found another job at a 7-Eleven store and is getting paid. Nicole Strawn, 10